Uh, is it possible to help me? Pastor, do you have a generate prophecy? I just can you just give me the highlight? Just put it on the screen. For me, generate prophecy. Hallelujah. 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 We give praise to God. I give praise to God. Father, I thank you. Thank you for sending your ministering spirit to help us. I acknowledge the presence of the angel that is present in our midst sent from you, Father, and through our Lord Jesus, by our Lord Jesus Christ to help us today. For it is impossible to attain understanding of these things and to open even the hidden mystery. You have also given in charge, you have given charge to a ministering spirit who ministered salvation even to those who ought to be heir of it. Our Father, I thank you today for that which you have discharged, dispatched, you have sent. Eshe, thank you, Father. I give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Uh, there should be a total and full redemption by our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a hidden mystery not to be understood without the revelation that the Holy Spirit will give. Now the Holy Spirit is a turn to reveal the same to all holy seekers and loving inquirers. The completion of such a redemption is withheld and abstracted by the seals of the end or the apocalyptical seals or end seals. So, the redemption, the completion of the redemption is being hold by the seals of the hand. We call them the apocalyptical seal. That's what she said by prophecy. Hallelujah. Now what she refers to about, she referred to, to the, the apocalypse seals or the apocalyptic seals. It's not the six, the seven seals. That's not the apocalyptical seals. But she is saying that there are seals that held the completion of redemption, that no one can demystify how the redemption will come to be complete. That a dimension of the redemption will be given to the seekers that are holy and inquirers that are loving. But the finishing, the finish, the conclusion, the end of the seals, of the redemption is held down by and abstracted by the seals, apocalyptic. All this interpreter of this particular write-up of this prophecy, this is not how actually it was written. Somebody also copied it in his own form. 
But the first, um, the first uh, prophetic write-up I read produced by Bishop Wadipo in 1987, 88. Bishop Oedipo brought out this prophecy first in Nigeria. Uh, I was going to have Zara to help pick a friend of my project with a car. The car happened to be in our custody. So I was already in the ministry then. So we went up to the school. While we were in the car, he showed me the prophecy. I read the prophecy. If I tell you that I understood everything, I will be lying. But while reading the prophecy, I was shedding tears. I began to cry. I was crying because I felt a tie to that prophecy, not knowing anything about the prophecy. So I held that prophecy. I knew the prophecy was a gold mine that must be unraveled. And so I stayed by it. I read it, gave it to friends. They read it, unable to decode it. We didn't understand. I never came into understanding of this prophecy by studying it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's by being taught the revelation of the word of righteousness, then my mind will go back to the prophecy. So God didn't make us to understand the prophecy by teaching us the prophecy, but rather they were teaching us the word. As the word was increasing, the prophecy was being understood. But today I it came up in my spirit that we should... As you, as you use this prophecy, part of this prophecy, to say things uh, that is along the line of the things the Holy Spirit is communicating to us. Yes. So, and to further emphasize and to also buttress and put weight behind these things. Wherefore, of the Spirit of God, as the Spirit of God shall open seal after seal. So there is a seal she's saying that is not seen by anyone. It's an invisible seal that is you won't see in the book of Revelation. It's not the obvious seal in Revelation chapter 6. She's talking about a particular um, hidden work God did upon the re completion of our redemption. So she said, a seal is holding the completion of redemption. He said, when the seals are being unveiled or being opened, untied, so shall the redemption come to be revealed. Both particularly and universally, particularly, meaning it's going to start from a spot. And then it would be a spread thing. It would be generalized. It will go into a large space. But at a particular dimension, God will open the seal after seal. We give praise to God. Shout hallelujah. So in the gradual opening of the mystery of redemption in Christ, which consists the unsearchable wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. She is saying that Christ must be taught. Mommy, you are blessed. I felt as you appreciate it this morning. Reverend Afaladi, let me just appreciate my, my mommy, my sister, my lover. <laughs> she loves Reverend K too much. To a fault. Amen. 
just to let you know my heart is with you. Amen. Reverend Zogi, my dear sister, thank you. Thank you. After I met my wife, my first disciple was Reverend Zogi. Uh, maybe many of you may not know her, I taught her one on one in our house. She will sleep off, she will come back again. And... But I remember one day I was teaching you, the anointing came upon you. Maybe you've forgotten, I still see it. I can still, I'm seeing the picture. The Spirit came upon you so mightily, just teaching you, and you were drunk. Maybe you've forgotten. Amen. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for still sticking around with me and following me in Christ, following Jesus that is inside me. Thank you, man. Eshi. Now, in the gradual opening of the mystery of redemption, in Christ, which does consist the unsearchable wisdom of God, in Christ may continually reveal new and fresh things to the word be seeker. The Spirit of God through our sister Jean Laid said that there is no way you can touch the living testimony or you can crawl or approach the re completion of the redemption if you are not a student of Jesus Christ. If you've not been taught of Christ, meaning you must have attained The forgiveness of sins. Open your Bible to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. Ephesians 1, 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins. According to... It's tied to the riches is an accord. So redemption is in accord to the riches of his grace. So redemption is riches of God's grace. So forgiveness of sin is receiving riches of God's grace or of the grace of God. So, redemption is sins being taken out. Sins, ought to be, sins must be forgiven. They call it forgiveness of sins. Receiving the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. It's not easy to drive around this arrangement of thought. It will take help. It will take help for you to uh, obey the compass because some things will rise to nullify this movement or this direction that follows the pattern of this word. Something God helped me with was that when these things are lifted up, Something stood in my heart and said they are new. Don't use your former knowledge of what you have known concerning forgiveness of sins. Obey it. Follow it. Don't, don't disobey the scripture. By so doing, uh, I will have mercy and then find grace to learn with this word without tampering with the thought. There's a way I can bend the thought. You can bend out blessing out of here. You can cut off from these immense blessing. A whole lot of people have not come into forgiveness of sins because they, they never saw any. They misinterpreted. And some people have, you know, someone can have so much might. You have might. You are more powerful than the scripture. 
because of what is already there concerning forgiveness of sins, a whole lot of Christians will say, my sins have forgiven me. Jesus did it for me. I am born again. Is generally accepted. And is preached with the new birth. But what she is saying, that God made provision for every child of God. When your spirit is quaking, and the provision is that your sins be remitted. Your sins have been forgiven through, but your sins have not been remitted from you. They have not removed our sins. If they remove our sins, your body, the day you got born again, your body will be a living sacrifice. Your body will have qualified to be alive. No one can say I'm holy in my flesh, in my soul, completely. Holiness is high. It's a high attainment. In the spirit. Do not let no one, don't be afraid of those who look holy. They are not yet. You can never be holy by human standards. You can never be holy. Hallelujah, as I'm saying it today, by human strength. It's God's work that delivers holiness. Holiness from lack of understanding has been taught the church. Of course, there is a dimension of holiness which is not by revelation. There is an holiness God requires from every one of us outside the provision of redemption. Uh, Holy Spirit wants me to stay here because God must have seen something that are lacking in our completeness. Um, in womb, we have redemption. A whole lot of people. Uh, what is redemption idea in the whole body? I wanted to see maybe you. Tosin. Tosin, rise up. Zaria Tosin. What is the general belief when you mention redemption? Can you give your. Yeah, Tosin? What does the church for now, the general view of the body concerning redemption? I want you to take it from all aspects of ministry who has preached it. Okay. Um, the general idea or the perception of the church over time mm. is that redemption is what one obtains at new birth. Beautiful. And it is complete. Mm. And over time, some people have found strength to stretch it to its extreme. Mm. That the day you got born again, everything about redemption is complete. Especially when you now have external realities to back it up, such as word of knowledge, word of wisdom, manifestation of the spirit. They believe I'm good. I'm cool. There's nothing more to add to it. <laughs> Tosin, thank you for that. Tosin, you really helped me. Tosin, you really helped me. Thank you. Um, Tilash, can you add to it, please? Mm -hmm. 
like you said, sir. Uh, You're um, a teacher. Uh huh. Okay, like you said, sir. Uh, um, when people think of redemption, what they just think about is what was accomplished at the new birth. Okay. Um, they just hmm. sum it up in what happened to the spirit man at oh. the new birth, <laughs> not thinking of the soul and the body. Ah. Oh. And the issue of redemption, as like you've taught us, sir. Uh, has to do with the soul and the body. Yeah. The soul, first of all. So, um, what happened in the new birth, like you've taught us, sir, is not redemption, but regeneration. Regeneration. Yes, sir. That the spirit that was dead is called back to life, which That's is true. Christ. Okay, sir. But the soul, man, has inherited things by work. Mm. And those things are removed from the soul by the process of redemption. So, redemption... Is uh. a thing for the soul. So um, most times people attribute things that we naturally benefit from the new birth as the redemption privileges. Maybe the signs that follow them that believe. But yeah. those things in themselves, they are not the redemption privileges. The mm. redemption privilege are things that comes from the teaching of Christ. Mm. That is to purge, that is to purge the soul. From carnality, sir. Actually, I, that's what I wanted to teach. You have taught it now. <laughs> you took, and he even placed them under my seven. Look at this is an expertise, you know. This is terrible. So there's no way I can shine again. You've taken me. <laughs> you have taken it with you. <laughs> this is. This is this is smartness. Shout hallelujah. I'm the one who said you should come to me. Why did I even bring you here? <laughs> shout hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? Uh, let me just see. Uh, Pastor Clay, can you tell me the general? You, you, you have been in different moves. Like I did. I, I just wanted to see the conception of what redemption is in the church. Tilash, thank you. Hallelujah. Um, from experiences and exposures in different works and different ministry. Yeah. Um, redemption is actually a provision from God. Uh, to man in a way that it sets man free from every oppression of darkness, what okay. they call darkness, and that puts a limit to man's progress. Okay, sir. Uh, by the reason of the new birth, which they receive when they receive the Lord as a personal oh, Lord and Savior. Yeah. So it's freedom from the power of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is well incubated. And, uh, Pastor, can you now help me? Can you help me? Who can shout hallelujah? Pastor, can you help me? I, I want to give it to Ohio, but I feel let me just give it to Pastor. I want you to define every aspect. I'm not talking, I'm not, I'm not saying teach the redemption, but what were the former thoughts of redemption? Just as um, has been said, the general thoughts of redemption, um, freedom from Satan as a result of having been born again. Yeah. You know, um, being a heavenly or a heaven candidate as a result of the new birth. Okay. Freedom from sickness, disease, the uh, oppression of the devil, you know, freedom from poverty, you know, um, authority to use the name of Jesus. Then maybe for, you know, in some portions of the body, uh -huh. you know, um, it's taught as, you know, the teaching of some form of holiness. This is what I want you to, that's you know, the most dicey one. Go for you know, Some form of holiness yeah. that, you know, you know, we're born again. So we now profess holiness as a result of, you know, some degree of understanding from God's word of do's 
and don'ts. Okay. Which, you know, when we do, you know, uh, we say, you know, we are walking in redemption. You know, uh, scriptures call it having a form of it, you know, but denying the power. Hallelujah. 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 We have redemption through his blood. So, of course, all these things are not the redemption. You can have holiness at a degree, yet you have not gotten redemption. You can have needs be met. And some people go beyond needs be met. They are very rich. And God blessed some people. God blessed some ministry so mightily. Not the devil. Because of what God gave to them and they were faithful with it. We have to agree with God walking at that level. These men were so faithful and God blessed them immensely. God gave them so much wealth even on earth. And some of them have prosperous ministry. They are big. And a whole lot of people in that under the cover has received blessings through them. So blessed. God walked with these people and blessed their work because God Almighty called them at that level. And they responded highly. Not, they didn't serve the devil. And our Father, who is faithful, blessed them also. Because they were faithful with it. Someone, you must, you must, you must appreciate what God appreciates. In people. If God appreciates Cornelius, who was not born again, how much more when someone is born again and has a little light and the person was faithful with it and God rewarded them at that level, we should also know that the heart of benevolence of God towards them, uh, it's just. We shouldn't call what they have been doing devilish. A whole lot of people who think they have some truth, revelation, they will begin to condemn all these people who are ahead of them. Without them, we can't get the slide. They also, they are like charter of a course. They have gone ahead so that we can do what God wants us to do. Is that clear? So, shout hallelujah. So, uh, issue of holiness. Um, some people agree that they don't agree that a believer will still need what is called forgiveness of sins. But rather, sins are already forgiven. The sins of tomorrow the sins of millions of years to come, yesterday's sin and the present sins has been blotted out. So I don't have sin. Is that what I don't have sin is a lie? If we say we have no sin, <laughs> it's not the world. Some people say, uh, I had a particular minister, I've not proven it, I've not had it. When he was teaching first John, he said, he said there was an inferring, I get to me, from an unbelieving state, from a dead state.
There is a way you can twist the scripture. You can be very, very smart. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us, that is, I can interpret the scripture this way, that as an unbeliever, God never met us sinless. You don't get me. That when that what Paul, this man is trying to say is here, when the day we met with God, none of us was sinless. We are all sinful. That is not referring to the present state. But there is something that is difficult to digest is that how can you be a believer and Jesus died on the cross and paid for the sins and you confess Christ an issue of sins has not been concluded in your person. That, that is not possible. I choose they say, I choose not to believe that. But I want to let you know, it's difficult to take or swallow for some people. And some people believe it. They believe it. And some will say, listen, 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 listen. I know you say you are going to heaven, but there is the issue of what is called sanctification. I listen, that's another way. And I will tell you, sanctification is a process that you don't get easily. We need to take you through training. When we subject you to prayers and elders watch over you. Am I lying to you? Lock you up in a room and you pray your soul. We know that all the rascality inside of you have gone out even when you say you are free. It's not by our approval. We have to check it. And after we have checked it, then we subdue you into a training of scrutiny that we will consistently and carefully watch you until your steps are clean. And we will measure out instructions that will be so defiant and it's going to clearly state you are separated. Then we'll know you are holy. It's not all this nonsense you people say. Holy, holy, and then you go free. Who told you? Do you know those who are holy? Have you seen holy men before? Small boys talking holiness. Go and meet that I see you will know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You, do you hear me? Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Uh, Afafa Parish was passed over by Tony. That was a reigning parish in, of, of, um, of Redeemed Church of God many years ago. In a papa, one of those, one of the Yopi Port Church, Freedom Hall. A whole lot of people went to that church. So one of the persons who was in the church told me some time ago, you know, you know, because the way they dress, Baba allow some kind of freedom. Are you listening to me? Under Pastor Tony that leave them. You are getting in people that, were, that are not like us. So we can need, we need to get them into the feet, into the net first, and later we will sort them out. He said they've been fellowshipping for a long time, then enjoying themselves free, you know. They are not dressing like the classical. Are you getting me? They are different. Then the time came, they now sent elders from ancient classical stand. He said they went about two or three of them. He said the way they were looking, fear. When the elders enter church, hey! All of them, that they say, <laughs> the guys, when he looked at the face of one elder, he knew he was in trouble. The church is going to take a turn. He said they were, they were singing. By the time they took prayer points. All the fire, all their excitement. What happened? Shh. Can we be quiet? In Jesus' name, they sent a chill. (laughs) 
to some, all these braggado, what is it called, Sam? Bragging, I am saved, I am saved, I will always be saved, the grace will be when, let's Let them throw you by mistake into some company of Christian. All your grace energy will disappear. And that, it's not only here in Nigeria. There is a group called Apostolic Faith. A friend of mine in the 70s, when they had to, to went for their conference, that boy went through all manner of things. So he was told, are you born again? He was born again. So it's high time for sanctification. Maybe new, but they now threw him into a classroom to pray. Nobody telling him prayer for the sake. He's just been praying. Then somebody was there by the window. He would pray and pray without Holy Spirit. He would be tired. Then, then the elder pray from the window. Pray. Then he would be praying. He would be tired. Then the man would say, pray. The guy just hang on. They have patience. He would pray, 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 pray. Then he would look. The man would say, pray. Pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. He would pray. Bow down and what's that? So he kept praying and praying. I think he prayed to peace. <laughs> Many of you are young. I used to read in those days the, some of the bulletins on the apostolic faith. They, they've been producing materials. Before, they, they had materials. And some of them are tied, they are coming from, maybe from London. Apostolic fathers. From them, deeper life came out of the apostolic faith. The only thing is that when deeper life started, we don't wear suits. We wear shirt. I was wearing shirt too in those days. After some time, I threw away my shoe. I began to wear sandals. Yes. Shout hallelujah. So there are different modifications of holiness. Some are severe. And I like the way you are looking at him because I want you to see where we are coming from. In those days, some don't wear long sleeves, it's short sleeves. Trouser, and the trouser so is not brand new. It's from Okrika Market. And that time, when you go to visit a brother, what you find in his room is bed, books, little small tape, plain cassettes. And the man is satisfied. No TV, what TV? When you visit him, when you see his face, you know the person is holy. They have holiness. Forget the outward thing. There is an inner holiness. They've got separation from sins, from lying. Whether you like it or not, you may, we may blast the polite, but there was a work Pastor Kumuyi did. Oh, hallelujah. Pastor Kumui dealt with the world to a little degree. Not with much revelation. Inside. That time, deeper lifers don't have ambition. They, when, let me tell you, when they sit, they are just like you guys. They, they sit for exams, they pass. Very well. They are the best. In every field. But the only thing that when anything they have is for the ministry. If a deeper life has billions, eight billion is for the ministry. And or some may just dedicate everything 
to the ministry. Everything they own, they give it to the ministry. It takes some power to do that. But, and I watch after a while, God began to bless them. All my, you see that our street, those who have houses there, many of them, deeper life are. Deeper life ministries have many of, God bless them. First house, second house, opposite me, third house, owned by deeper life. The extreme of that other side, a deeper life owned it. When you are holy, God will bless you. And I can tell you one of the secret prophecies of the Baba, Baba Debo is holiness. Money. Why God gave him so much money is because Baba is holy. So you see, say if you want to be rich, be holy. It's not just talking and it's saying things out of experience. I hope I'm talking to you. It's possible to have holiness without this redemption. And that's where I'm going. It's possible to have separation. The word separate, it's holy. Be ye holy. They taught us a lot in deeper life to be holy. What is in our mind as a deeper life member was holiness. I was in, I started, I started with deeper life in 1980. 8-0. <laughs> I have moved from ministries to ministries. The last ministry I knew I moved into mm, was Bishop Oedipo in 1984, 85 to 86. It's, I still remember. So I've tested charismatic move, evangelical move, all manner of moves until I came to be established under Kennedy again. So, <laughs> abstained from fornication, which is your sanctification. Thessalonian, give it to me. Now, this is the will of God and your sanctification that you should abstain from fornication. Fornication is sexual intercourse, which is illicit in the mind and in the body. It is God's will. So it is the will of God that ones attain this sanctification. So, fornication is deadly. Every other sin, it's a mind thing, but without the body. But you sin with your body. Fornication is as heavy as that, that you carry your body into the, into the sin. So, God wants us not to be, the Bible says, it should not be named once among you. A believer should have that ability. Are you listening to me? Even from the previous help of the Spirit. Initial milk. The milk of the milk, you know, the milk that you give to baby should abstain you from fornication. Mm. 
that is our sanctification. Sanctification means holiness, not so. You know, the Gentile people, the Jews were discreet about sex. Holy. God separated the whole nation from illicit sex. Now, sex is many. Sex between male and female, some male to male. Now we are hearing, I'm wondering why am I born into this kind of world? I'm, I'm because I, I hate it. Sex between two females. Sex between male and female. Sex between male and male. I'm wondering why am I, are we born? Why are all this ugliness? And I can tell you, Satan, who is doing it to vex you? And you now can't see, you can now see men wanting to tell you that they are like that and they are obtaining right. Oh, I was shocked. I was shocked. Lord God, my father, help us. That in a cabinet of a, of a president, what are you trying to prove? That you don't discriminate. And you now appointed people, male and male. That one has nothing to do with religion. Society, those issues are not religious issues. Not to commit fornication is not a religious issue. It's a human issue. It's a civil thing. Now, what Satan did was, okay, they separated the commitment to God from the state, not knowing that X state or a state of a nation should not degenerate. Fornication should be written boldly in every law of every nation. That you don't do it. The way you would not, criminology or crimes of stealing, of killing, it's not different from fornication. Anyone who does such things, the Bible say, is worthy of death. Not spiritually, physically. Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 1, sorry. Fornication, adultery, there ought to be civil things. It should be termed wrong. But I'm not saying you should kill people. Because Jesus did not kill persons. That tells us that it's true. That the state can't administer penalty. So, God's that dimension is not punishment at first. It's severing. People from it. We give praise to God. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable, unmerciful, but knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but they that have pleasure in them that do them. So when someone now brought two men, brought someone who brought his, uh, his husband, not her husband, You know, when they do that, they will be now, they have every right to now to begin to tamper with things that are Mr. and Mrs. They are, they are passing that law. Imagine it. They are a race sexist. There's nothing like 
Mr. and Mrs. You don't know. And even they have gotten to a place that any woman who gives, you know, feeding a child, the breastfeeding, they call it mil human milk. So we are now defining things according to gay mind. Perverted fellow's mind. Human beings should be angry. And that's the reason why Biden was nominated. Because I've not seen anything he's doing about the economy. There's nothing. They, they, they don't, you see that? Uh, for, forgive me. I don't see the power of this government with economic sense and solution. The previous was an economy, was a guru, was very intelligent on negotiation grounds. He did it. He negotiated with China. At least the first thing is just rule out laws. Then that tells me what you are more concerned about. They didn't come for human beings. They came for they came for people. They came for LGBT. I've not seen what Biden did that is very concerned to people who are normal. <laughs> Their heart is not for men. But the minority who voted for them. I, yeah, I'm not an American, but I'm just wondering why the majority are not actually put in the privileges of your government. Forget about it. When they say majority, it must still pass through the spectacle, the spec specific the specification, are you getting me, of those other ones. Something is, when you see, something is in the heart of a man. When a ruler, are you listening to me, is using the judgment of some kind of people to rule all people, then there is something about the heart. Governor, the president of Ghana said under him hey, that such law will never come into Ghana. Our government has not said anything because of money. They, are, they want money. They, they, have, they want what, sir? They want U.S. money. What is what has Sodom gone to offer us? Hey, uh, I don't know why I'm saying all these things. So. God will help us. God will help this country. God should step in and judge very quickly. If God does not limit humanity, the rest of the nation will become it. You know, right now in India, they have actually approved gay law. India, yeah. Indian. Gay have rights in India. But you know, they only said that thinking you can deceive international community. Leaders of Indians are like us, our leaders here. We can't resist money. 
uh, and they, we feel we are very smart. You cannot be smarter than gay spirit. It's a very intelligent spirit. If it's okay, we will say okay. I had a Nigerian who went to, what's it called? Who wanted to have asylum in Canada. Some of them, one of the family rose over and said, listen to me, I'm a gay man. And he's a liar. Then I say, yeah, they gave him asylum. With his wife and children. I say, Like, a, you know, these area boys that normally capture your car and take you to local government for you to pay. They caught me one day and I told the guy, I, I said, a long time ago, I said, I don't have power. Why are you doing this to me? He said, I know I'm not going to deal with you. I'm not taking you to your area, to our area. I just will pack and say, I'm just taking you to somewhere. I said, are you sure? He said, let it not be better for his mother. If he's lying to me, and it's a lie, I wonder why you, you use accuse better or let the mother die. Something strong, just to convince me. But he has harmed himself, all in the name of small money, money that is no money. At the end, he didn't get anything, but he has actually wounded himself. Is it that issue of the way we, we go all the way for money is a cause in Nigeria. Our nations, our tribes, our weaknesses. One thing I know Nigeria will be revealed, redeemed from is lack of stature to stand against these things called avarice. Do anything for money's sake. We need redemption. How many of you believe that we need redemption? We need. The nation need redemption. When you look at a Niger eye, the eyeball, I can't see that on you, but go outside, look at a normal Niger, you will see something there. What is it? All these things are uncleanness. Heaven will clean us. Money, 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 money. When you go abroad, you see a lot of Christians compromising, lying, twisting papers, twisting age, and you see them dancing in church. Changing status because of privilege. So you can live well in America. You see someone who is 60 years old, he say he will enter into the system with 42 years old. Ask him why can you be bad? You know, some people when they look at it, what is wrong with Kyle? They kill she. Kill him more. It's so cool, so. Anger. Am I talking to you? There is an attachment to that thing. Some people cannot but lie. Lie about their persons. They have great fear that if they tell the truth, that great, great opportunity of life will slip me by. Ah, oh, all that
one time I wanted to go to the US, so it didn't occur. That time, my wife knew the time. Later on, I dreamt many, many times. And uh, one day, it occurred to me, okay, before my wife on, before my wife and my wife and I went to the embassy a long time ago, a friend of mine was so adamant that I should come. Planning, but later on, I couldn't respond. Then the Lord told me, now showed me a dream. Are you listening? What asked what was a dream? He said, I now saw myself when I got to the US living in a place where all many Nigerians are living, like a dormitory. And they now bought a paper for me to lie. I get to be fast to eh. Hello, sir. I saw myself in the midst of dogs. Those who behave like that are dogs. You are too holy. Don't subject yourself to such living. Even after they pay you money, you're a fool. Something has been stolen from you. I give thanks to God that it didn't happen. You don't know. You don't know what Satan spirits took from takes from people when you make wrong allegiances. And in the family, uh, Buru, we were in the U.S. You see. Brother, I mean, at this is time it's a lot in the U.S. Kilon shelf, we are going to cross over. Uh, are you and the other? Are you sure? Because even the light that U.S. is casting, honestly speaking, just watch it. Not too long from now, people will see U.S. and do. These nations will fall. They will be reduced. In 1968 or 66, a lady saw it from Norway. He said the first world country, people were departing from it, wanting to take refuge in the third world. It's coming to pass. It's a matter of time. Some people say, you know, you can't, they, there's no way you can see it now. When you think of her defeats, how beautiful those places are. But she saw it. She saw it. She said many things that came to pass. Is that the last one she saw was these nations. People began to run away from it. Those who survived there, those who God called there. Because there's always provision for those whom God wants to save. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Amosa, for yielding to the spirit to bring. I need that tongue. Thank you, Dopari Genet and Watu Veni, Elavuna Shuani, the Teke Livini, Akatani Aze, Akatani Aze, Akatani Aze, Akatani Aze, Akatani Aze, Akatani Ak 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 
you are in the seasons of the ox. Mm -hmm. You are in the times of the ox. You are in the seasons of the ox. Even but ak. Even but ak. Even but ak. Even the season wherein Satan is unveiling in men. Is doing in men. Even things of his own ak. Even things of his own depth. Even things that will turn men. And turn men. And turn men. And turn men. And turn them totally. Even totally. Even totally. Against God. It will turn men. Until it will produce men. And produce a man. It will produce men. And produce a man. It will produce men. And produce a man. Even a negative man. Even a man that hates everything called God and that which is worship. Yeah, you are also in the times. Even in the times. Even at the threshold of the times. We are in things that are of the ak, 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 ak of God. Ak of God. Ak of God. Things of the ak of God will be on Veiled. You are the threshold of that times. For it will be, be, be revealed. It will to be, be, be shown. It will be, 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 be unveiled. It will begin the proclamation of the things of this ark. Even the ark of God. And it will sound even from a place. It will sound even to more places. And it will sound even to the nations. And it will begin to change even the topology. Even the earth. And it will begin to bring to pass even the agenda of God as contained in the ark. The agenda of God as will be engineered by the ark. You are in the season of the ark. Ark season. Season. Ak, 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 season. Ak, 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 season. Ak man is coming. 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 Man of the hack is coming. Man of the hack is coming. He will be made by the testimony. He will be formed by the testimony. The testimony will raise that ak man. That ak man. That ak man. That man of the hack. That man of the hack. Who would have had all hack, even things in the hack, even that holy man, holy man, holy man, the man that is as holy according to God's hack holiness. This is all the message today. Everything in this prophecy is what I saw from the beginning. Oh, I'm just. Waiting for luncheon, not so. Okay, I redemption. Let's see Ephesians. Give me forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of his grace. Next verse, next statement. Uh Lake, you have your Bible? Read verse 8 for me. Thank you. Tunde, thank you. Hmm. He had abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. He has uh, make it available to us so much, not so, in all wisdom and prudence. So, without wisdom, there is no way you can have this redemption. You have to be wise. You have to be wise in this manner. Not so. Uh, I want you to think this way. Wisdom that will cause heaven to forgive you. Wisdom you must attain to receive forgiveness of sins. I love the word receive. That word forgive is not pardon. 
is much more than pardon. That word forgive is remover, taking it away on you, in you. Even though you are born again, but something stands against God to touch that sin. To reach to those sins, there is something that is, what? That is, <laughs> that is, will not allow God to reach it. On your inside, where it was kept. Now, these same sins in heaven has been purged. But in hell, in you, it has not been removed. But God is saying that the thing is so, the scene itself is so tricky and trickish. The scene is staying by wisdom. The scene is remaining by wisdom. So you need wisdom for you to agree to the terms of cleansing. Meaning, if you are not wise, you won't allow the redemption. You will never agree to the methodology of removing it. Yeah. Hey, uh, I will. You will not give yourself for that sin to remove, remove. Because where the sin is hiding. Hello. A lot of heads are falling. Some are to the right and to the left. Some of you are sleeping. Don't sleep. Me too. I have not been resting. I have been teaching. So, you are soldiers. Soldiers. So, it's clear. Redemption, this forgiveness of sins, will not watch that. We will refuse the administration of it if what if one is not wise. Wisdom there is the instruction that will be passed on to you for you to posture yourself for the working of this redemption. For to remove the sins. Why? Why? Uh, these sins have actually Sins written with, with, you know, committing sin. These sins we are committing, you know, the sin has not stopped in many believers. It's still in continuum. And every day we do it. But God just stayed in forgiveness. Now like husband and wife, we are together. And you have to walk in love towards your wife. Not so. That's one thing you must do. She, must, she can be doing something every day. And she's continuing. And she's holding up to it. And she's not departing from it. But you have to look for a way to make peace. And uh, accept her that way. Until a day something happened to her. At times it might take 10, 15, 20 years. For her to agree. For that thing to stop. But does that mean she's not your wife? That is not enough to cut her off. She, she is your flesh and flesh. Bone of your bone. That's why you have to give your life to her as Christ, the church. So all they are teaching her is redemptive power, redemptive nature. Who the Lord is saving the body, giving herself, 
She will also offer water for the washing of the water, washing of the water by the word for the body's sake. And the Lord has been carrying the body along the body. Aren't, ain't meeting, what's that? His standard. All of us are like that. Or husband, wife, you too, you have to. A wife has to bear with the husband for long. You don't say, no, I won't marry him anymore because of this. No, you have to stay. And summertimes, till death do you part. That thing may not go. So is God bearing with the body. How many people have died on the earth without changing and then, and then they will meet him face to face? Elohim, I don't know. You are greatly to be praised. Hey, Elohim, Elion, you are gone to him who sits eh? on the throne. Another to the Lamb, Elohim, Adonai, yeah, you are God, Elohim. Elohim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what is in that? How many of you know that when believers die, they die without sin? I think because you go to heaven. Hey, we are clean. Who told you? You'll be walking around with those sins. <laughs> Heaven doesn't remove this sin. <laughs> what they can't remove on the earth, they can't remove in heaven. I, I, I don't want to rush the issue of this redemption. Uh, Tilash, can you tell me the most difficult thing to get out of a man? One thing a man will not give to you easily. It's just one thing. Um, the most difficult thing to get out of a man is his sins. Or what, sir? His love, his life. A, a one is life. Is his life. The first thing is what, sir? His life. Imagine Satan framing a life with sins. Everything from A to Z is what, my brother? All of the sins. Inside that lineage of stretch called life is unrighteousness, unto unholiness, unto uncleanness, to iniquity, to iniquity. So the first one, Pastor, are you getting me? Is unrighteousness to unholiness. It's top. Then another one, there's another junction that is joined to that. That is not life. It's called love. It's what, man? That one is iniquity. So that there are two types of negative life. What are they? It's called unrighteousness. Then the other one, it's iniquity or sins and iniquity. Hmm. Sins. Did you get me? Sins. Say sins. And what again, sir? Now, around them, everybody say around them. Say it around them. Fornication, lying, adultery. That is the thing that is. Wow. Are you saying what? They, they are, they are what? Every one of you? A life by which you survive. That is the sins. That's why it's not easy to let it go. 
So somebody who is now wise is somebody who is willing to relinquish it and be willing to be taught. Uh -huh. Moses, you see? So if someone says, I am holy, when God look at that, he still see that that method of living is still inside you. You are not yet holy. So I can have life, I can have an holiness that does not touch that one. You know, people have it. You see that when they are living church, they, they quickly, they kick their machine and they are going, to pack their Bible and take their children. Mm. But inside them, they've not... <laughs> I, you know, I paint this picture so that some of, some of you, because you have seen those type of things several times. But you know that the man is very zealous. Mm. And they, they go to church and then they return back home. Let's pray. We, we, we just came back from church and you are, you are trying to eat food. Stop, Junior. But that, are you listening to me? It's not enough. That man as not what, sir? Attain redemption. Please, can I, can we breathe? Let's see this word. I want you to gently receive it. In whom we have redemption through his blood. So, sins is the rule of life. That man has accepted. Depending on where you have reached. That is why it will take grace. Riches of his grace. Abounded to us in all wisdom. And then prudence. Prudence. God gave it to us carefully when God was putting it together, when God was actually providing redemption, it was provided in wisdom. Are you listening to me? Meaning redemption was rich, grace, riches immensely. So riches, 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 riches unsearchable is redemption. What, what is the riches? Grace. But grace has been arranged in wisdom. And it was done carefully. So when going through provision, you must be meticulous to, to receive it. You can't be brash about redemption. You must be thorough. Because it was fearfully and wonderfully arranged. So you have to be careful when tampering with redemption. That's why Holy Ghost will want anyone who administers redemption to be a soul that fears God. Fear. You, they won't give redemption to somebody who can make decisions anyhow. Today we stop preaching Christ. It's not just Christ today. Now we are going to be talking about how people will make it. In fact, for we are going to, for three years, is making it. Because it's clear you need to be rich. All of you, I'm saying you are poor. <laughs> that man will not allow what, sir? Because he to have what, my brother? Sins, his own sin, will block redemption. So to be a redemption agent, you must be broken. I, I use that word. I don't know how to speak English. They need to break your arm. But when you hear it in Yoruba language, it, it means something. So anytime you want to take your home, you will remember that they can break the second. So that you will be, you have what is called meticulous. Nature concerning administration to allow the removal of sins. 
tallying in and waiting and waiting and waiting. Redemption cannot be given to somebody who has uh, who is rash about ideas. Somebody can be very gentle but rash in the spirit. What do I mean by rash? Somebody who some people are not gentle in the spirit. They just come up with an idea. Today it's going to be Nigerian day. <laughs> All of you wear your Nigerian color. <laughs> I hope I'm talking. To you. Then you now see people. By Elsa have come. <laughs> he fed no brethren. <laughs> oh, kitty para for people. <laughs> you know that the mind. I like to... <laughs> the brother. Hey, go away. Hey. <laughs> that church can't work, sir. There is something wrong with the mind of that man. <laughs> So today, church is going to be different today. That redemption does not mean anything to him. Um, for six Sundays, I won't come to pupit. God wants him to save people. <laughs> Mommy will not minister. We want you to minister to us. Six hours so so. Then after a while, are you ready, church? After the six Sundays, then we have to give good four Sundays for the little boys to minister to us. Not the teenage council. The tens, nine and the tens. We will dress them up like preachers. <laughs> and all of them will be deceiving themselves, thinking they are hearing anything. <laughs> God is good. And the Lord God say, I shall let you know that Jesus loves us. <laughs> Today, are you saying, can you tell me what is working? Who can tell me what is working? Eh? It is that thing that refuses redemption. <laughs> it, do you know, who can tell me what is his name? Old man. He's a man. You know, to, to actually see the old man some of us who have allowed Jesus is not by our power. You know what they did to our old man? They used javelin. Not, not sword of the spirit. Is what is it? <laughs> what did they do to him, sir? No, they didn't chuck him. They didn't chuck him. They peg him. <laughs> Maybe if you use the sword of the spirit on the old man, he will wake up again. Motiku, you see him where you have gone. Ah, of Pefu Jesu. You know, there was a time the, the Levites used sword. But the time somebody collected the covenant of peace was javelin. When there is a javelin, are you listening to me? From the tribe of Java. I'm <laughs> to throw the lean. I'm lying to you. <laughs> Where will he enter? What is who can tell me the name of javelin? Who can tell me what is the meaning? All of you don't understand me. You think it's just an ordinary instrument in the spirit. Javelin is an arrow, a developed arrow. 
that you don't fire, but you throw. At the same time, you can trust. To take javelin, say it son, is to take a complete Christ. Not the one you, you shoot from afar. You know, arrow boys, that was a, from afar, the arrow shooter, they always stand away so that. Bah! But a javelin man faces the opponent. How many of you have ever watched this film? What's the name of this film? Troy. Did you see Brad Pitt there? Am I lying to you? Shout hallelujah. The way he conquered that giant. Zap! On the neck. And then he didn't even look at him. He walked. Is there no one else? <laughs> Shout hallelujah. When my little daughter, Anu, was about a year plus, Maybe not up to a year. When, when they called the name of this place, the name of this uh, Silverbed Cinema, the gallery, they are showing, you know, they used to show films there. So that film just came out that time. So they advertise it on TV. So when they are running the, ad, what's the call it, sir? Pro, the Hadvat. It got to a place where that brat, when you were, the Greeks, entourage, you were facing Troy. When that guy came and said, Immortality is yours. And it was a baby. I don't know. That thing just caught her. When you know, he will be waiting. She will be. <laughs> Immortality. <laughs> what do you call it? Immortality is yours. Take it. <laughs> That's the only thing she wants to say. <laughs> I wish I video her then. And then show it to her. <laughs> now, have you seen Redemption? So what kind of mystery took place for us to agree to follow Redemption? The Redemption plan. The will of God concerning Redemption. It isn't an ordinary thing. It's God's mercy. How many of you agree to that? For you to follow it true, to follow Christ's teaching true. Is not ordinary. Then Gilead said, you can't come into the living testimony or the ark will not be open to you until the mystery of redemption has been understood. Give me that place again. Give me that place again. You know, Ladi, it's not easy to see things at times. You think people have heard, they, you need to say them over and over, over and over, over and over before it's really done in the heart. The completion of such a redemption is withheld and abstracted by the apocalyptic seals. Wherefore, as the Spirit of God shall open up seal after seal, so shall this redemption come to be revealed, both particularly and universally. But this redemption, this redemption, but there is that redemption. Give it to me the next phrase. Hallelujah. In the gradual opening of the mystery of redemption in Christ. In Christ. There is a redemption in Christ. Which consists the unsearchable wisdom of God. You know I told you about Christ, the, minist the ministration of Christ, the ministration of the unsearchable wisdom of God. But ministration of God is actually the ministration of the manifold wisdom of God, which may continually reveal new and fresh things to the anyone who, anyone, anyone who wants to see the redemption, anyone who wants to touch the living testimony must be a worthy seeker. And a worthy seeker is he who has learned Christ then Christ will make you worthy. Now, if you have not received redemption, which is in Christ, which is the wisdom of God, hallelujah, you won't be able to navigate the path through the truth to the living testimony. 
you won't get to the ark. You won't attain the ark. You won't come near the ark. You won't make progress towards the ark. All these are calling is a journey. You won't seek the ark. So Jesus stimulates the mystery of redemption in Christ, stimulates me to go towards the ark. I'll tell you. When the, when the, when the sins are gone, a fresh hunger begins. Then you have a prepare, lean force to move you towards the ark of the covenant. Because the scenes stops hunger. The scenes are appetite for something else. So when they cleanse your sins, you create a room for fresh hunger. You begin to go after God. You want to eat what is in the most holy place. This fresh hunger. Redemption in Christ thus consists the unsearchable wisdom of God. So it's clear. Uh, those who have received the redemption in Christ are already, they've received wisdom of God in Christ. Wisdom with me. The first initial wisdom takes me to righteousness. When you are wise, you begin to discern between right and wrong. You know what is right in the spirit. Then you do it for a while. You take right steps. It brings you to holiness. Or sanctification. Then you undo sanctified thing until you are redeemed. When I am redeemed, I am now. Do you know how what I will become when I'm redeemed? I will be called wisdom. You are both wisdom and power. So you have redemption. So redemption, it's the godly man. Someone who has, who has attained godliness is he who has been redeemed. This redemption, but this one, what is it, son? Sins. Sins. Forgiveness of sins. So, and I, I can now say you have life. You have life. The next thing is to submit to God against what you love. Because love is better than life. Testimony! Testimony is Actually, act out in love. Testimony is hewn from love waters. Love is strong. I want to go somewhere. How many of you know that not unbelievers have testimony of Satan? Like many Christians don't have the testimony of Christ. 
many of them don't have testament. A lot of unbelievers are already in the kingdom of darkness. They have entered kingdom. They are there. But many of them have not come to the holy place yet and made peace with Satan. Many still want to war against Satan. This is a matter of souls. Are you listening to me? In their spirit. Are you listening? Can I say something? Are you ready? Do you believe that if every unbeliever has come into the Holy of Holies of Satan, there won't be a need for Jesus to die? So that tells you the spirit was dead, but the soul had not journeyed. So when Satan killed spirit, he had a lot of work to do. To also train soul completely. And he has not been able to train all of them. Even from the beginning. Listen, listen. Any soul, hear this, keep it. Any soul, God knows, has tendency to follow him. God won't discard him. No matter where that soul is, he will look for it. You can never, God will never put a soul, if given chance, if all is done. Are you getting me for that soul to respond to God? I said because, and then finally throw him into a lake of fire. He will not. He has not, he would be unjust because he has not given the soul chance. Rather, God, we always look for someone. He wants to prove a soul and prove it and prove it, even though he knows. And prove it and prove the soul beyond reasonable doubt for all to see and for him to even convince himself. There are things God knows. He wants to even convince himself. That's awesome nature of the Father. So God will never throw any soul to where? He won't until he has proven that this soul is actually a lake material. That can only be determined by him. Shout hallelujah. Amen. The statement I've just made now is pure. Isn't it pure? It will give chance to souls to fully, what's that? Make a choice. A man born in a fam Muslim family from beginning his Quran. In fact, they slap him and whip him to know the Quran by heart. Are you going to blame him? You as a child, they even beg you to, to be born again. And you, you were born into a Christian family. What a mercy. What a Muslim boy. Okay, they gave back to him Muslim so that he, he will be born to go to lake. No, that's so, that spirit came from God. Be merciful, my brother. When we are like God, we won't talk to Muslims anyhow. We've not, that, that tells us we are not here holy. He said, ah, Baba, the boy, man, I don't know who that guy, Baba, Baba is honestly speaking, that man is, that man is very holy. By dealings. I have never seen him mention anything against Muslim religion. Islam! Some Christian. If you're a Christian leader at that pedigree. Muslim people! You are killing Christian! I place cause! Do you know there are a whole lot of Muslims that are thinking of Christianity because of Baba? 
You see that discipline? I'm wondering. <laughs> that beats my own theology. You will see him the best. He say, I'm praying for men. The one that pained him was the killing of a Catholic uh, priest. Then the wife was telling, why are you sad? He said, why wouldn't I be sad? He said, many of my children are priests. They call me daddy, baba. Many, I have many of them. I'm just woken up today and I heard that one of them is dead. So you don't know how many people submit to Baba. Maybe you don't know, there is a particular African country, all their parishes, all their churches just came to her and handed over to Baba. Orthodox. Is it overseers? A whole African country. <laughs> You don't know that. That's not an ordinary honor. That honor is God. Certain discipline that are inside him. At times you want him to speak, he will not speak. Because he must not speak for Christians. So I'm wondering how did he know it? We have to study everlasting life to see it. It must have been a great dealing. So, but I know one thing is deep in him because he's a soul winner. He loves evangelism. He wants people to be born again. He believes that is his ministry. So, I believe he knows that place deeply. For God so loved the world. <laughs> That God is in, God wants, he doesn't want any soul to perish. He, that thing means a lot to him. So when we're in that class, there's a way we see things. And there's a way we judge things. Praise God. Are we ready? Can we shout hallelujah? Now give me generate prophecy. I, I, I'm, and I, I want to, I'm taking it easy, bit by bit, because of understanding. But I'm too sure today a whole lot of people are understanding me. There's a breakthrough in the realm of understanding. So the gradual opening of the mystery of redemption. So there's a redemption first before the redemption that is in the ark. The redemption that is before the ark is that which is in Christ, which will lead one into ark redemption. So our Christ will reveal new and fresh things to the world seeker. Why? In order. To the which that the ark of the testimony in heaven, this woman said, the ark in heaven shall be open. Hello, just, I wanted to picture it. Where is the ark? <laughs> Where is the ark? Every one of you. Where? All of you must say that. Don't be bold. Don't. I, I'm not saying, I'm not asking you to give me an answer. I'm only say say what you are. Where is the ark? Because some of you are answering me. In heaven. Where is the ark? According to her here, the ark of the testimony is where. Is it clear? To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that feathered not away, reserved for you. Where in heaven? So we can know where the redemption is. Where is it in heaven? In the ark. And that ark shall be opened. That ark shall be opened. That ark shall be opened. God wants to open the ark. Can I say something? Say amen. amen. Oh my, hallelujah. The ark in heaven shall be opened before the end of this age. Opening the ark, then, <laughs> and opening the living testimony herein, contain also shall be unsealed. This is the seal. 
you know, the apocalyptical seals are around the testimony. I love the word unseal. And what they are unsealing is the life of the testimony. Because the presence of the divine ark will constitute the life of the virgin church. They had had life, but now they will have a life stronger than Christ. They will have life everlasting. That's the life, that's the mystery of the Father. Moses, do you see that? I give praise to God. Tokwe, come on, Pastor Tokwe, come and help me. Come and help your daddy. Thank you. Uh, I am not breaking through the way I'm supposed to. In order to wish that the ark of the testimony in heaven shall be opened and before the end of the sage and the living testimony contained therein shall be unsealed. Um, living testimony in the ark, not so? I, I am too sure if they've opened the hack already. They've opened the hack. If not, there are things in Scripture, in the epistle. If you can understand them, they are tied to the opening of the ark. Receive, receiving the end of your faith which is the salvation of your soul. It's contained in the, it has to do with the heart and the living testimony. Not so tired. They've opened the heart. I'm too sure they've opened the heart. We all have an idea of the testament. They've opened the ark. And they're already giving us an idea of the testimony. What remains is to see the things contained therein. To read the testament. That's what we are, we are about right wow. now. Wow. It's the reading of the living testimony. Because there's a testament in the ark of the testimony. Not so? Shout hallelujah. To read it. They, they are reading it for a purpose, not so. Huh? They are reading it for a purpose. They, they are reading it or they are, on, they are saying it or mentioning it for the sake of covenant. Pastor Moses, you get me? For the sake of what, sir? So covenant means agreement. For you to take the life of the testament receiving the life of the testimony. So, of course, there is no agreement without a testament. Testament. There is no agreement. We use, they use the testimony to draw agreement. You have already, you have an agreement with Christ already. That's why you are Christ. Your agreement with Balial Belial. Belial is another dimension of Christ in the opposite. So you don't have an accord with Belial. I know there are different Christ. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing you sound hallelujah. Is the word con concord at Christ with Belial? What part at he that believeth with an infidel? 
And what agreement? At the temple of God with idols. This one, temple of God. This temple of God. It's a man that is thoroughly furnished. Perfect. Furnished. Ready for good works. This is the temple of God. This is the temple of God that God has not lived in him. A temple of God that must is gone past an entity of the holy place, ready to enter into the holiest of all. So he can do the works of the most holy. This is it. This is the temple of God. This is a person God can live in him, but God is not yet living in him. He must do things that will make God live in him. What are the things? Good works. On these, eh, that temple of God is called the vessel of the master. The master's use. Vessel. Not so? It's the master's vessel. Is a is a vessel for mastery. So master's use is the works of the holiest. If a man shall purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor. One, sanctified. Meat for the master's use. Prepared unto good works. It's still the same thing. It means a thoroughly furnished vessel. Prepared unto good work. This good work is everlasting work. Titus chapter 2. Let's see. Zealous of good work. Titus 2. Appeared unto me, teaching us to deny ungodliness, unrighteousness, that I might live soberly and what so righteously in this present world. Shout, shout hallelujah. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from, okay, verse 13, hallelujah. Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope. The glorious appearing of great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify to himself a peculiar people zealous of good work. So a peculiar people actually are people in the most holy. So but what makes you peculiar is all the Torah training in the holy place. Are you listening? All what's a Torah Torah training where so they you will not just be wise but you'll be meticulous. Torah. Torah. You are Torah searching you. You are Torah. Then they move you into the holiest. So you're a peculiar people. Now you're a vessel ready to be cleansed from love. You're now a, a vessel of war against love. First against sins. But now, a weapon of war for to fight love. The love of the dragon. So God won't inhabit you when you have not done works of love as against work, against love. That you must be up and against love. Works must have been done in you that will be against the love that the adversary gives. Love. Love works. Ready? Shout hallelujah. All of you are not saying amen. amen. Can we shout hallelujah? Now there are two states to 
the testament. The testimony being unveiled, not so. For the fact that the testimony is being unveiled, doesn't mean you have what? You have is kept in you. It has not become your inheritance by those works. Then the testament will come to stay in you. When you now have that testament, hallelujah, fully, it has become your own life. God has kept the testimony. You now receive it. Or let me just use the word, you are having it. There's a season of having and there's a season of have. When you now have it, It means you have done all the works to have it. In the process of unveiling the testament, the testimony is a living testimony. Living. Say it, son. Shout, shout, shout it, sir. Now, when you take the testimony out of the ark from his resting place, or you shoot out the position of the ark from his resting place, and bring the ark into a place other than the place where it came from, it's the ark of the living God. It's the hack of the living God. What is the hack? I want to show you. We must also understand the technology of how the ark was hewn, and we should have respect to those thoughts in the Old Testament. Ark was from a living tree. Then they dead in it. Living tree. Fruiting. Bringing forth fruit. So what did they do to it? Sir? What did they do? Say dead. When you cut it, it's no longer having life. Then, what did God do, son? They walk on it and fashion it. It's still a tree. Then give it an eternal protection by overlaying it with gold. Break the gold, you still see the tree, the furniture. It means no corruption can break. What it won't break. If you find the ark now, it's gold. But break the goal. The day you expose the goal, expose the tree, it will begin to die. But it has an everlasting or eternal embalment with gold. Well, that was not the nature of the ark. It was a living tree because the reason is that woods of the tree are insignia of everlasting nature, strength, age. But eternity is different from everlastingness. When you turn it into a furniture, first of all, go through a death. There is a death passage also from everlasting life to eternal life. There is a death you die. Hallelujah. Say death. So anytime our Father, God, the eternal God, comes into an everlasting dimension, he actually reduces in power. So there is a death. He dies. That does not mean kill. It's shed. When you shed something. You know, Jesus shed glory. Found in fashion when he became, he humbled himself and became, when he, he, was, he had no reputation, he was made in form of his servant. What happened? He died. Not died to death. He only shed to come up into a lower life. He's on form of death. When you see him, even though when he became, when he made himself of no reputation, are you getting me? He took upon him 
the form of a servant. He was in bed, spiritually to God. No sin was present. It's just a reduction. It's a pure death for reason's sake. Then he went beyond that. You can see what he refused, what he contended against was seen to be put on him. I don't know if you understand it. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. He humbled himself. He kept humbling. But when he saw death, another death, this other death was a final departure. So, but when we... when you shed and shed forms, God was shedding forms. Even, you see, all this tabernacle speaks. God kept shedding forms in the Old Testament. The Jews never knew God was making sacrifices. Coming down as Yahweh. You know, for God to come down in the cool of the day and just with Adam was actually a shed. Genesis chapter 1, it was raw Elohim. Raw Elohim. That form of Elohim. Raw Elohim. Chapter 2, the Lord God. A shed form. He redeems himself so that he can teach Adam how to eat the tree of life. You, 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 there must be a revelation. Pastor, do you, you understand that that Lord God is the revelatory dad? The God of revelation. That's the father of glory. Shedding form to teach Adam. To talk to Adam. You know he was the one who planted the garden. Elohim, who is it? Elohim will not dare come down and say, I'm planting garden. It's too much of your glory to touch the ground and plant garden. It took the Lord God to form the man of the dust of the ground. The one that can relate with nature. Yahweh Elohim. Who can relate with nature. Touch. Lord God won't do that, sir. Lord God only speaks. He doesn't touch. He doesn't mold form. <laughs> Eastward in Eden. <laughs> he planted a garden. Who would do that? He didn't create the trees. So he took out of the seeds which he has taken. Created in chapter 1. Are you getting me? He was planting there. Eh? What was he doing, son? Say it, you must say that to me. I say it was what, my brother? He was planting them. He planted them. A garden. He watched the garden grow. I don't. I didn't think he planted that garden in three days, and the spree tree sprouted. He watched the garden grow, and there he put the man whom he had formed. So the garden must have grew, not so. Then he formed the man, and put him where, sir? And said, "Adam, stay here, stay in the garden." The eternal God, say it, son. What kind of a God is he? He's a God in rest. The one Jesus is seated with at the right hand, that being who doesn't move from the throne. That being who doesn't what, sir? How many of you know it's possible that the eternal God can be on the throne and then the Father can leave eternal God <laughs> and yet he's still on the throne? Obasanjo was leaving Nigeria. I said, what of the case of the Nigeria? I saw it. I did. I can't pay. Baba, that statement does not belong to Obasanjo. The owner of it is the father. If you ask him, what are you doing? I did. I can't pay. Are you, he's still there. Because you see him there. But he's coming down. He can leave himself. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. And still come to what, my brother? Fellowship with man. Eternal God, everlasting Father, 
everlasting God, the living God. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. The life of the testament or the, the living testimony. When you see the testimony explaining the living, is behaving as living, or the testimony is living, it's an everlasting life. When God cut trees and was modeling and mod, mod, making the tree to be an ark, God was turning the tree to be an ark. It's, God was turning everlasting thing to eternal thing. That tree didn't move from the tree zone into the holiest of all. It has to go through process. First of all, they cut it, cut, brush it, hewn it, divide it, redesign it. They are making it go through eternal configuration. Am I talking to you? After that, they now cluttered it with salvation because gold is salvation. That's the final salvation. Can you clap? Just clap for Jesus. But this, my clap, is done in wisdom. I don't want you to sleep. That's all. Everybody shout hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? Can we say hey, amen? Give me five, Pastor. Just give, me. give me again. Give it to me. Give it to me again. Give it to me again. Yeah. Can you slap me? Yeah. Slap me. Give me five. Amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. I don't want them to sleep. The presence of the divine heart will constitute the life of this virgin church. And wherever this body is, and wherever this body, it is this body must learn everlasting life. How? Everlasting life. When you, you see the hack, oftentimes behave as a living hack. It still has that ability. Anytime you take it from a state of rest and mobile it, <laughs> it's operating as a living hack because of the testimony contained therein. Huh? What? What is inside it? Eh? So that testament, what happened? It will begin to behave as a living testimony. So why is the testimony doing around a particular church? This church is not talking about um, one church in any way. It's a church in the spirit that has had connection to the ark. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. Amen. So it's clear. Wherever the body is, this body is. Wherever this virgin church is, there is the ark of necessity must be. There must the ark of necessity be. Imagine a body that would bring down the ark. So it means the body will be trained by the hack, not the hack, not the body training the hack. So the, the, it means the hack is emptying out something, its content. Into where, sir? All of you must shout that. Into where? So there is a constitution. We can see, we can read the intention by the nature of the hack, wanting to make sure some people have the life of the constitution of the testimony. What the testament constitutes 
as life. So there are two dimensions. Everlasting life and eternal life. So the ark must teach them how to live. And for the ark to be present, that tells them that uh, wherever that ark is, and as long as the ark is there, there must be a reward. So it's clear. Eternal redemption. Eternal redemption. I want to just show you all the songs we sing. I priest, good things to come. Only you can save us. Is it those good things to come? Ah, uh, the things that peculiar church must receive for good works. And the good purpose of the good works is for them to be good. Not good works of Christ. But God is good. Is it that good which everlasting glue, everlasting presence, that nature that cannot be corrupted. When you say something is good, it's incorruptible, on the fire. It fades not away. You know, I said this thing is good. So that's what the ark we measure, and I can tell you the administrator of this good thing by the life, by the, what the heart constitutes, is Christ. That's what Jesus sits on. Jesus is seated on the ark. No one can open the ark but Jesus. And no one can give the living testimony but Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. When a living testimony, it's a good things to come. I priest of the living testament. The testament is the law. If there is a change of priesthood, then of necessity there must be of a change of the law. I need, we need help now. Not so. We need help. Yes, come catch you. And my teeth. Ah, ha, ha. Mm. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yep. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shame it on a epe uteni mupe prol. Elo pene si e si potana april. E si pone rita le pril. E pril ti sheni pe pril. April Shila Mel April I am it April and tish April and shall pril April I shall me April April see I see April I see the April April Thank you That's right. Mm -hmm. We shall. Real, 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 real,
we teach you April. Teach you in April. Teach, teach, teach. Teach, 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 time to show, time to show, time to show, time to show. For I would open sheets, I open sheets, I open sheets, I open sheets. Open sheets. I would open sheets. Sheets. Veil, veil upon the ark. I would open veil, 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 God veil, God veil, God veil, God open veil, 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 sheets. Sheets, sheets of glory. I would open sheets of glory. I would open sheets upon the ark. Sheets upon the ark. I'll teach, 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 teach. Make known, make known until that which is in the ark will be known. E mi ke ke ko ke ka ke ko ka e ka ke a ke ke a ka ka ke ka a ke e mi mi ke ka ke a ke tu ba ka ke e ko ke a ke a ke ke o ke ke a ka a ke ki ke si a k sa mi a k e ka k. Footsteps of the ark are coming. The footsteps of the ark are coming. The footsteps of the ark are sounding. Even in the spirit, it's coming down. Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? Um, so, first of all, 
if we hear clearly, Holy Spirit wants us to pray in a prayer. April prayer and teaching. I only said April, but he is saying pray, pray. He breath it is not him. That's that thing came by the move of God. You know when someone is not just it's not maybe he had pa he breath it. That thing came out of his own accord. Pray. Pray, 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 teach. Those are Ah, the, 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 the glory is moving around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's prayer. And she said, rent. What does that mean? Use pray prayer to tear open. Open the veil. So we will pray. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shout hallelujah. So we now know what a pray is for. Um, we will not miss April in Jesus' name. As the same thing that happened last year. I hope another pandemic is not about to. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Ah. Uh, we thank you. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. 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 Eh, ha, 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 Hit, house, house, face, foot, feather, tassel, pass. The, the tongue is lingering in the spirit. Can you interpret? Or did I or pick it? Did you pick it, Pastor? Ah. <laughs> uh, The light, the light, the light is in time, even in April, 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 heaven is set, even in April, heaven is set, even in April, heaven is set, heaven is set, mouth is being given, mouth is being given, might is being given, might is being given. It's an ordained time, even from the beginning of times. Beginning of times. April.
Holy Spirit. Separate yourself even as a ministry. Say at God. Separate yourself even as a ministry. Separate yourself, yea, even in the manner, even in the manner where we the children of Israel, even where I wanted to give even the law, where I wanted to give even the law. For I said to them, separate yourselves. Do not come near at your wives. Wash your clothes. Yeah. Separate yourself because mm. the God, even the God of Israel, wanted to come even upon the mountain. For to give even the law. For to give even the law. For to give even the law. For I said to you as a ministry. Yea, separate yourself. Yea, prepare your heart. Yea, prepare your soul. Prepare your soul because I'm coming down to speak. I'm coming down to speak. I'm coming down even to give things. Even things that will make for the testament. Even things that will cause for the unveiling of the testament. For there shall be burnings. For there shall be quakings. For there shall be earthquakes. Even in realms in the spirit. Because I'm coming down. I'm coming down. For to unveil. For to show. For to break trees. For to break trees. Even negative trees. Even negative trees. Even the work of the negative man. Even the negative cherub yeah. that has fallen. Yeah, his walk will be broken. Yeah, his knack will be broken. Yeah, his wisdom will be broken. Yeah, his constitution will be broken. Even by that which I will give. I will come down to speak. Prepare yourself. I said, people, separate yourself. Allow yourself before yeah. me. Uh. Because I'm com coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming like I've not come before. I'm coming even for the purpose of the testimony. I'm coming for the purpose of the testimony. I'm coming for the purpose of the testimony. Allow me and make the most of my coming. We give praise to God. How many of you are blessed today? We have come to an end of this meeting. Uh, there's no need to teach more. Even though there's still more teaching. We'll still reserve it to some other time. Now someone uh, I know a lot of hearts are confused right now. When he say, don't come at your wives. <laughs> I mean, that would disqualify me from the living testimony. Shout hallelujah. Um, that was the law for God to con come to Israel. And it's still the law in the New Testament. That word come not at your wife is something. It has a revelation. It's just talking about extreme, what's a consecration of your soul. Even wash your garments. Now, uh, hello, if we are to be literal law, as washing of physical garments, <laughs> it's talking about your soul. Come not at your wives. It's come talking about your soul. Shout hallelujah. We won't break scriptures. Amen. So you can understand, he's telling us we need serious, that he pray, is going to be a solemn time. It's going to be a season of receiving. Hallelujah. I, we didn't say it, we never 
initiated that. So, but we'll begin to prepare for April. We're already preparing for April. Shout hallelujah until April comes. We won't joke with any day in April. What is the first date in April? Which Thursday, my God. So that first Thursday, everybody shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. We won't joke with it. We will start praying that night. We will pray that Thursday night. I will talk to our pastors. We will begin to pray in the night of Thursday. We won't leave it. We won't leave one April to go. Because there's going to be school of the spirit in the day. But it's prayer and teaching. So it means a pray instruction. You know, I've said we need to pray. I've told Pastor already about praying for some time. We need to pray. We need to pray. And we have been instructed to even pray. You interpreted, you interpreted the tongues about pray that we should observe prayers for these things. So now that it has finally come out. Amen. We give praise to God. Uh, so we are going to observe a type of, God wants us to just be conscious of it more. Shout hallelujah. I am not issuing out rules on April that nobody, you know people, there's a way people can take things. Ah! But at the same time, God wants us to be, I look at me, he wants us to be serious about holiness. God will help us. Now, God will give you instruction on what to do and what not to do in April. Everybody will have personal what, my brother? So, somebody will say, maybe God told me not to go near my wife. If you are married, I didn't say so. And Holy Spirit didn't say so. It's, it's just repeating the level of concentration that time that they have to. Things that are legitimate to you. You need to, at times God can just say, can, your wives can be your job. There's a way you give yourself to your job. Anything that can take you and take your attention from God. Are you getting me? You know, there's a way some things borrow you from God. You get back to God in consciousness. God will want all, not that you are not going to be walking, but there's a way your mind will be you will be doing the work, but your mind will be more present in God's presence more than that commitment. Have you understood me? Amen. Can we begin to thank him tonight? Let's give him praise.